Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the first video of Thursday. Now I thought there was going to be a different video I'll be doing as my first video of Thursday, but I think this is a very good uh, video point and topic to talk about, especially because I've now got so many MCN related topics to go over. This one I think stands out a little bit more. So it's going to be about Alliance Wars and Alliance Wars season and potential compensation that would be very nice. Now, I'm sure people will go, Rich, why are you asking for compensation? Oh, asking compensation. But look, there's something that uh, we've missed out on. And as a lot of you know from doing Alliance Wars or not doing Alliance Wars over the last couple of weeks, whenever it was, that we didn't really get a preseason. Funnily enough, I think by the time that... Um, we are about to uh, pl place or kind of like start kind of matchmaking right now. I don't know. I'm really kind of worried about the way that kind of Alliance Wars has been since this new uh, persistent placement has come in. Like where we stand with it. In a nutshell, the season is going to start. Azkaban have said, I think um, the there is, a, is there an update or if not, it's kind of like in a mail that's probably gone. If not, it's going to be I just refer to the site. Um, yeah, I'll refer to the website instead. So on the masthead of the website, it does say that uh, Alliance Wars preseason returned this Wednesday. So the point of recording this video, so yesterday and effectively, uh, the season will start as previously discussed on August 2nd. Now, that's this is just the thing, isn't it? Not a lot of people have been able to get a preseason. Is it essential? You know, is it something that is going to be that we as a community are going to be all running around? Possibly. But look at it this way. Your amount of loyalty, and look, I've got 1.3 mil loyalty, that's fine. I can, you know, get it whatever I want. But for a lot of alliances that maybe go into more competitive spheres, will look to reuse and reinvest their loyalty. Some do, and some don't. So if you don't, I don't think this video really concerns you or you should really care. But if you like free stuff and care, then, you know, I guess that's something that's important and i think that's important for rallying everybody together with this cause there's a thread on the forums which i'll put a link into in, in the description and it's an interesting like read but also a very valid uh concern as uh as buck Matt, bug Matt, uh does say you know on the topic of during this extended war off season many were hoping to rebuild some loyalty we've had zero off season wars and season is supposed to start next week we need off season to keep up the loyalty demands would really like to see uh, loyalty packages uh for some some sort yeah i mean that, the thing is it would be nice i'm sure people go well we would do that so well look, that's the thing isn't it command have an option now whether or not they could do everyone a solid and maybe they are maybe they are thinking about doing some sort of like i don't know um booster for everybody alliance wars booster compensation-y type thing, but maybe they refer it to something else. Possibly, um, but look, you know, it would be good to say, like, uh, sorry for how things have been, thank you for playing the game type message, include the the arena compensation, which is still yet to come out at the point of recording this video. Uh, we could see it this week, we could see it, um, no, we won't actually, we won't see it for another two weeks, because uh, that's what Kabam said. So it would be nice to do to do that and see that, and especially when this particular, um, you know, example to see, okay, well, flood a bit of compensation into uh, the loyalty side of things. Give everyone 1 million loyalty. That's fair to ask since we didn't decide on no war season at all. Um, I don't think they'll do that. It would be nice. Uh, well, I was hoping for a direct compensation rather than a BG award update. But that's another point as well, isn't it? That's an, But that goes to a different point, sorry. The, 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 that particular point is that, you know, within these uh, solo and alliance-based kind of... Um, booster of uh, rewards like we didn't we didn't see anything that's loyalty based yes all the shards and all the rank up materials kind of like got influxed into there but you lost out on the loyalty and for some people as we've as you've seen loyalty is important others maybe not so much i guess it just that it's just down to like the 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 personal opinion as to what it will do to your roster, be helpful for where you're doing your uh, alliance and your competitive uh, elements of reinvesting versus doing the con content like Alliance Wars. So that's going to be something that's uh, that's very um, Im important. Uh, oh, it's Piccolo. It says, I also would like there to be loyalty compensation or have an off-season delayed to two weeks instead of starting up again on second uh, August 2nd. That's a relevant point. Um, 
I have been very much invested in Battlegrounds at the moment and I've been neglecting a lot. I've got my little MCOC uh, list here of stuff that I've really got to do and it's like I've got to sort out the relics, uh, signature in champions, si finishing side quest, throne breaker, act 8.2.4 right the way to 8.2.6 and 100% shooting star quest. I'm going to now work on that. I think I've got like a week before it's going to... Oh, well, two weeks. Well, no, week until Battleground Season 10 comes back uh, and kind of preparing for that. So I'll have to put rank ups in there as well because I've got to prepare for that uh, as well as everyone else does. But that's kind of like, you know, another kind of like an important matter for any kind of a grind. But look, on the subject of it, it was interesting to note that a lot of people have, um, you know, resonated with this. Whether or not you resonate with it, get involved with a thread over on the forums because then it applies a bit of pressure to Kabam to go, oh, do you know what? They might have a point there. Whether or not Kabam will see there is a point to it, but I mean, look, we've, we've got to go over the facts here. And the facts are that we haven't had an off season. Therefore, because we haven't had an off season, we haven't had an opportunity in the off season to, um, to top up on certain types of rewards. Whether or not it's um, the small amount of loyalty, maybe it's a high amount of loyalty and those kind of things um as well we're still really yet to see the impact on the persistent uh what is it called the persistent placement uh i haven't got my head around it as well there's some people out there that haven't got their head around it as well and i guess that's the problem isn't it like um you know getting understanding a system that's put in and i hope it works i wish command all the best with kind of like um this and uh, making sure that uh, persistent placement works because it needs to happen, really. Something that you're able to drop your defenders in and go, okay, well, we'll leave them to do their thing. And they're kind of like, on, it's an ongoing thing. So you don't have to, th to worry. And you, you're not kind of presented with things of forgetting to place them. Look, I've done it in the past. I've forgotten to place my champions. Sometimes I forgot to place one. I'm hoping that kind of like, I, you know, just get my head kind of focused on what I've got to do. Um, but yeah, like since starting my new job, it's just a case of like my my memory has actually been better when it comes to doing stuff with MCOC, even with like doing AQ, which sometimes, you know, you might forget to do a path. Here and there. But it's been good. It's been good to kind of like, you know, just kind of like refocus, reprioritize and, um, you know, having having uh, less stress in my life by, uh, you know, saying, well, you know, I've got the job kind of like that side and I've got the YouTube channel in the evening. So we've got a nice kind of balance between the uh, to the two. But uh, in any case, what is everybody's thoughts on, uh, you know, getting uh, compensation for this matter? Do you think that we should get some compensation? And as I said, uh, get involved with the thread. This is a, you know, a hot threat thread at the moment and people are getting involved with it. So get involved with it, apply a bit of pressure. If you agree with it, fine. If you don't agree with it, okay. Just important to like uh, get involved with it as, um, you know, people are after loyalty. We didn't get the off season. We didn't get a chance to top up the loyalty. And yeah, thoughts in the comment section, but again, involved with the, uh, the thread. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.